Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Load Grunt Tasks, which is a Grunt.js plugin that saves you a lot of typing. Uh, so here I've got a project that uh, I used in a previous Grunt tutorial. Uh, I'm using Usemin, which has already saved me a bunch of typing. Uh, but if you notice, you know, down here, every time I want to add a new uh, uh, Grunt plugin, I got to do this Load NPM Task. Uh, and one way we can get rid of that is with load grunt task. So here I am in the directory, and what I'm going to do is install load grunt tasks. And once that's up and running, uh, one thing I don't have in this project is a package JSON. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, npm init, and I don't really, I'm not concerned about all the options. I just wanted to get all my content in there. Yeah, that's okay. All right. And now what I can do is right here before I even start the grunt init config, I can say require uh, in quotes load grunt tasks. And then that becomes a function where I'm going to pass grunt to it. And then what I can do is I can just get rid of all this. I'm going to comment it out uh, and, uh, and I can try my build. So grunt build. Everything worked great. That's awesome. Let's just take a look really quick. Yep, there's my uh, index.html all compiled. Uh, hey, that, that just saved me a lot of time. Uh, so that is a really, really quick look at load grunt tasks. And you can quit uh, uh, doing this whole grunt.load npm tasks and passing it in every time you want to add a new plugin. Uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.